It is a beautiful late April spring day. Uh, really spring was coming late to Michigan this year. Things are just starting to butt out. Only a week or so ago I saw the first robin. Usually they're here in March. I love walking. I love walking, but by the same token, here in Saginaw, it's gotten to where it's not fun to walk anymore because of, uh, primarily because of young people. See, I turned 60 the beginning of this month. Unbelievable to me that uh, that I did, but I don't. My body feels 60, but my mind isn't ready to accept that I am. But you'll walk, be walking down the street here on uh, Stevens by Gratiot here in Saginaw, and invariably there's kids that will be driving by in cars and they'll shout obscenities at, at me for being old and it makes me wonder if they have grandparents or if anybody ever taught them respect for people and I don't think they have because probably most of them have drug addicts for, for parents or only one parent in the home is usually a woman and they don't know how to bring up boys I'm sorry but that's just the way it is they can't bring up a boy as good as a dad can. Invariably though, it seems like most of the time when these things are shouted at me, it's uh, it's white kids. There there have been a couple of black kids that have that live down, down the road actually that I'm coming up to now, but most of them are respectful to me. But it, it makes me sad that you know, so much makes me sad anymore about the the morality of our nation, the direction our nation is taking. It seems anymore like everything that was right is now wrong, and everything that is wrong was wrong is now right. And people seem to to wallow in their sin. America's kicked God out pretty much, and with kicking God out. The country has gone pretty much to hell. I think judgment was held off for a long time, but judgment is here now and upon us. And um, I don't think that you can live with the blood of millions of unborn babies on your hands, the country, so to speak, and uh, have God honor that. I don't think you can take prayer out of school and have God honor that. I don't think you can let gays and lesbians into the military and have God respect that and that by the same time take Christ and the Bible out of the military. I hear a lot of things about George Washington and that he was a mason and all this but one thing I do know or see often and frequently in old prints and paintings is him kneeling before God. And he realized in several statements, he made it clear that a nation that does not follow the Bible will not be a nation for very long. And that's that's a paraphrase, of course. But uh, that's what I feel like we are right now. Not a nation, not the nation that we were. Yes, I'm a citizen of the United States of America. That wasn't by choice. But I am a citizen of heaven by choice. And when... That day comes either through the rapture or through my death. I'll be happy to walk those streets, not having to worry about or fear anyone. The violent, Saginaw is a violent city. And there's a lot here to fear when you're walking. I've had bullets whiz over my head when walking, and that's, that's the truth. But I'm still alive, still making videos, still doing recordings. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, God's given me the opportunity to do that. It's just a little bit of rambling today. Hope you have an awesome day. God bless.